Have, have you guys, uh, you guys have heard about the UFO hearings, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. I've heard about them. All right. So, I, I mean, we, we have to talk things. about this. I mean, I, 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 this is just crazy stuff, you know, and, and it's kind of weird. So for those of you guys out there who have, haven't been watching the news or have seen this specifically, there was actually some congressional hearings um, that involved questioning these three whistleblowers. So these whistleblowers are people that were former military that were making known that there's a lot more to UFOs, unidentified flying objects, than the government is letting on yeah. to. And so it's kind of funny that this came up because I, I have noticed that in the past few years, you see more videos about unidentified flying objects. Did you see the videos from that were in Texas of an unidentified flying object? Uh, which one? It I mean, was. It's recent. It was like this glowing orb with like this other like halo looking. I'm not sure I it. saw that. It was in McAllen. It was in McAllen. McAllen, something like that. But anyways, it was like all these other people were saying that it flew over like by them. It's like all over TikTok for like Texas. Really? I'm. I'm. I may have seen that when I was doing the research. Um, I didn't pull. It up looked any... really weird. I was gonna pull some videos of that, but I mean, I didn't. You know, I, I just wanted to more dig into like the kind of the crazy stuff that they were talking about. But yeah, you're right. Like, there's more videos out there. Well, yeah, because everybody has a video. Like, right. Literally got in a, their hand. Right. Everyone's now. got a. Everyone's got a video camera in their hand, and and you hear more things about okay, this got declassified, and the government said that there was this thing, and it didn't make any sense. And I was like, okay, well, that's interesting or whatever. But I always just kind of thought, well, it's probably some other country's technology or, or maybe even our own technology that certain branches of the government, you know, the military might not know about. Mm -hmm. But so this UFO hearing happened this past week, and there was three uh, retired militaries. One of them was retired Air Force intelligence officer, Major David Grush. And he actually worked in the department at the Pentagon specific for UFOs, which they call him... UAPs, which is Unidentified Anomalous mm, Phenomenon. That's it. Good. Thank you, Travis. You got it. Thank you, sir. That's why you're here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so there's actually a, a, a UFO department in the Pentagon, which I didn't know that existed. And this guy decided to be a whistleblower <laughs> and start talking about all of the crazy stuff that, that no one knows about, which I, I'm not sure how the government feels about this. Um, so, some of the revelations that this guy, this Major, Major Grush from the Air Force, were talking about was he just flat out said that the U.S. government has in their possession, in, he calls them UAPs, but UFOs. Yeah. He's like, we have in our possession a UFO. But what? Wait, what? Like a UFO machine or like an actual like, because I heard well, them saying like, we've, we have taken biologics from so, the thing and I'm like biologics. So uh, yeah, the the indication and, and there wasn't a lot of detail of exactly what it was and he couldn't there was a lot yeah, of times when they were asking him questions like I can't talk about that. Yeah. I can't talk about and that. And then like the lady was like, so can you say if it was human or alien? Right. So you saw it. So that's the clip that that's the next one is that the US has retrieved non-human biological yeah. remains from the pilots of these things. And that could be like I mean, they're basically saying that they found aliens. Yeah. Right? I, I mean, I want, I really am interested to see what they look like. So we're going to talk, we have, I have questions for you like guys. They're coming up. what they look like? He also said that the U.S. government operates a reverse engineering program for this UFO tech. Like, these are, this is a guy that is like, you know, testifying it under oath in front of Congress. And then lastly, it's even crazier is he said that people have been silenced that we're trying to talk about. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I was like, I guess they didn't threaten him enough. Yeah, I mean, this guy better... He might have not had, like, does he have a family? He might not have a family. He might not have anything to lose, you know? I don't know, Who man. It's just knows? crazy. So I watched all of those hearings. It was like two hours long. I didn't watch every last bit minute, but I, I did watch a, over an hour of it. And, and, you know, those were the four highlights, him talking about, we have UFOs, we have aliens, we, we're engineering their tech, and also... Uh, that people are being silenced for talking about this and it's just like mind blown right so i this brings up a lot of like questions so i'm i'm asked you guys like did you travis did you hear about these things like did yeah. well, what, all right so all right and, and i know you heard about so does this change your mind about like what you maybe formerly believed about you know is there is there alien life out there like does this testimony it doesn't, it doesn't change anything because i've always thought there was Okay, so that's that's a good point, and so I so I'm with you, Sarah. I 
uh, and that's the next question is, do you believe intelligent I, life exists? It just makes me be like, so the government just lies to us. So I was right, yeah. So I, yeah. I, I do believe that there's intelligent life out there. I think it's just crazy to that in this galaxy of 400 billion systems just like ours, that there's not some you know life yeah. out there. And now, then it, but then at the same time, it's like if there's actually aliens coming to our planet it's like they are probably so much more far advanced that like coming to us is like going to a zoo exactly right it's kind of frightening because if, if they have the ability because you know the aliens don't live on mars yeah they don't live on mars. they live They're, in a completely they live different from like a, solar system probably right which yeah. means that they have the ability to travel light faster years. than the speed of light yeah which means that their tech is like yeah we're like uh, they travel through the loop the those black holes in the space you think so i i mean I don't know why you Troll this way in, man. What are we are we are we talking crazy here or like you know, I've always believed in aliens and I know um I think with those like three specific guys who testified in Congress, um, whatever like branch that they were like testifying about, they did come out and say that they were lying. They were like, um, we don't have any kind of like UFOs, we don't know what they're talking about. But I of course believe those guys, honestly. You you believe what they're saying is true? Yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. I believe them. I mean, I, I don't know. So here's my thing. Like, I've always believed that there's life out there, right? I just cannot believe that we're the only thing out there. Right. But the thought that there, that life is coming and visiting us has always been like a hard swallow for me, you know, <laughs> because I mean, there's, I, I mean, th I just feel like there would be more concrete proof in, in that it would be hard to cover that up, you know? Yeah. Um, but then again, if they're, if they're so advanced that they could come here, you think probably they're invisible, right? They're, they're, Ships could be invisible. I mean, sure. if they can travel faster than light, they probably can put a cloaking device on there, like, Absolutely. like in Star Trek. Maybe they are. But I think they like. I think they only show us what they want to show us. You know what I mean? Like, I but think like, what's they, their what's their game though? All right, so let's just say, okay, there are. <laughs> there's <laughs> these <laughs> there's this funny TikTok of this of this girl being like, "Why are you so shy, aliens? Like, why are you being so coy? Dude, come hang out. Let's have a beer, man. <laughs> like I want to get I want to get an alien drunk. <laughs> like, you want us to chase you? <laughs> <laughs> like, light years away. Of course, light. They, well, I, I'll buy him like a fancy beer. It doesn't have to be Coors Light. I'll get him like a like a Shiner a bot. Shiner. Yeah, a Shiner. <laughs> we'll give you some tequila. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, but I mean, I you know, I just With there's the so many questions that have opened up here. It's like what? Okay, if they are coming here and. What are they doing? Is it like? Is it? Is it? Is it like when you they're, go whale watching? They're abducting. Is it a tour? You, is it like you know when when you go on vacation and they take you out in a boat and you look at whales? I will say this: is it Sarah, alien tours? Sarah put it to me a way I didn't think. We are like zoo animals. Today. What's what I'm saying? Are we, so it's like what if like what if that's problem. the purpose? Like they're like here. It's our yearly field trip for our second graders <laughs> to Earth. <laughs> I mean, is it like a safari? Are they like? That, and then they're, they like, they're like, that one looks really sad. Let's take it home and put it in our zoo at our house. <laughs> like, you know? That's where, it's where all these abducted people... That one looks, people... like, sad. Man, I'm not we'll looking sad when I'm it. outside. They're going to beat me up, man. I'm like, <laughs> no thanks. I'm, like, saying no to the probes. And then, there's, and then I listened to a podcast about it, and then they were talking about, like, and what is it with, like, aliens always putting stuff up your butt and all that kind of stuff? And then they're, like, talking about, I think that like, they're high-tech enough. They don't have to put something up your butt. I'm they could like, probably I think just it's scan just you with a wand or something. I can see Dr. Herman getting, like, the, the beam. That, that, they're like, no! Like, I forgot the blue moon. Wait, <laughs> yeah, wait. I, I bring gifts. <laughs> I forgot the blue moon. Y'all want a beer or something? So, I mean, all right. I'm going to try and get, <laughs> bring the real... I'm reeling things in here. We're going to reel it in a little bit. So, okay. If they have aliens, I'm dying to know, like you what said, do like? what do they look like? Are they humanoid? Or yeah, do they, do they look like, like the gray things that we right. were told? Like the like, Area 51 kind of aliens? Like, or do they look like humans? Or do they look like squids? I mean, yeah, what are they? Yeah, because people say uh, octopus and octopi. Yeah. What is their DNA like? Do they have the same DNA that we have? Or do yeah. they have some like really weird... Or are they like Superman and when they come to the earth they're like super powered right exactly and so i was thinking about that because it sounds silly right to say like okay do the aliens humans. have superpowers but think about it this way like if a if uh you know if like a, a a worm that has no eyes you know were suddenly to become sentient and and you said oh, i can see they'd be like what does that even mean like see they, they have no idea yeah. like, the aliens could bend crap with their mind and we, we just, that's just part of who they are that's just part of who they are right yeah so there's just so many 
so many questions that have popped up because of this, and I don't think enough people are talking about it. I mean, basically, some guy came out and said, not, there's, there's aliens out there. I think it's it's so difficult to think about. To wrap your head around. And, like, sometimes, like, you know, because I live kind of, like, away from the city a little bit. So mm. Sometimes, like, you know, you at, like at the end of the night, you, like, look up at the sky, and you think about, like, you see this, like, light, and you're like... Am I getting beamed up? Like, no, not like that. But like <laughs> stars, just like stars. Yeah, right. Like looking so at stars. stars and you're just like. Yeah. There's just so much out there. Am I seeing like the stars light from like five million years ago? You are. I'm really into like astronomy. Like, so like, I know. I, I, like, but it's geek just, it's just so weird. And then you get like, ah, oh, my brain's tired. I don't want to think about this anymore. <laughs> like you're like, it's pretty. That's enough. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to it's hard to fathom it. that you know when you look at something you know in the sky like that you're actually looking at the past because it takes millions of years for the light to to reach yeah. you, you know uh, just like the sun it takes yeah. eight minutes like you're looking at the sun eight minutes ago the sun could have exploded and we could all be dead in like five minutes and oh my God. <laughs> yeah it's hard to think watch about out that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's God. the last show ever <laughs> I did not know that <laughs> yeah eight minutes how long is it how that, long it takes that the, that on Netflix there's this um, documentary about that the telescope that they put up into oh, the oh yeah the uh, not the Hubble but the other one yeah it's like the, the new most one. the like, Higgs no it's not Higgs is it Higgs Bison no that's I don't know different. it's like the most advanced telescope yeah. they've ever dude there's put some in there. it has some I, I and they I were like literally when we put this up into the in space it's literally like we're going to be looking at past in right. the past yeah like millions like of years ago back in time this is our own it makes your head hurt when you start thinking about it technical like time machine and I was like Oh, <laughs> I, I think though that the take home message from this segment is that aliens are just out on safari. You yeah, know? literally. Like, they're, they're, like there's like rich aliens. They're, they're on their second grade field trip. Yeah, or well, it could be a field trip, and they're like, we're coming to see the animals at the at the Earth Zoo. Let's <laughs> we'll see if they've evolved to what yeah, we let's are. See if now. they've got any. Nope, and they're still terrible. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, uh, if you're watching this and you you have a, any thoughts about the aliens, I would love to hear them. I'm open, I, at this point, I'll believe anything. Like you know what. Oh, sorry. No, I'm, I'm going to go off on another friggin' tangent. No, okay, bring I just what do you thought got? about this. What if the things that are coming to see us are humans from the future that have gotten away from Earth and they're oh coming back? Oh, my gosh. To look at us, to be like, this is where we went wrong, and they're trying to fix it. Dude, that is brilliant. I mean, you just blew my mind, Sarah. You could be right. It could be us from the future. I never thought about that. So they're time travelers. Yeah, and they're like, so when they, they're well, trying they, to fix stuff. Yeah, right. To make there's it to where we don't like destroy Earth. There's like there's a bunch of movies about that. Is there a movie about that? Yeah, there is. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll look it up. I'll look I it don't up. know. Interesting. All right. Sorry. This actually, I, this has been one of my favorite <laughs> segments we've done in a long time, so I loved it. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much. We'll get you next week on Nip Talk. See you then. <laughs>